I have uploaded a plethora of helpful guides about blocks foods, but we all seem to be paranoid of doing what we're guided to do because of one external problem, bounty hunters. These people really disrupt our grinding session and delay progress. If you want to stop being its prey, then I have a few words for you. The first step is to show themselves nothing of their interest. They're hunting you down because of their degenerate primal instinct to kill and mess with people they have no conflict of. Now you want to act humble and displaying a look that disinterests them and if you're hunted down you want to make sure you have nothing to lose first thing i would do is join the opposite team of which i have the more bounty or honor on now you'll be asking what if i have high bounty or honor on both of them we'll get to that in a bit how this works is for example i've got a bounty of four million on pirates which is a rookie amount but not so low that people are never going to start hunting me down so i make the amount lower by joining the marines only 2.5 million honor i don't give a damn about losing honor so i definitely have nothing to lose in my sense. I only join the marines to grind when I have the intention to just progress myself. If a rich honor hunter is in the server, I won't need to worry about getting hunted by them since marines cannot attack or hurt each other. More about that in this video right here. So what if I'm a two team type of person, high in bounty, high in honor, you may try this few other advice. Regardless of who you are, you want to detect an active bounty hunter. What's up with the word active? Not all high bounty players always want to kill you. Who knows that they're just chilling in the safe zone to trade? How can you tell if a player is waiting in a safe zone to hunt you down the second you get out? First, I don't think you even notice, but rotate your camera by 180 degrees. This makes you look backward. Use your eyes or observation to keep track for suspicious movements. Now you don't want to go too far from the safe zone, just to make sure they won't have time to hit you. If you catch a player waddling out of the safe zone preparing for an attack, soar you to an unpredictable spot as close to the safe zone and secure yourself. There's an instance where a spawn can be in the safe zone, so in that case, just reset. What if there isn't any safe zone? Well, let's say you're on an island just minding your own business and then an uninvited guest gets summoned. If you sense they're coming close to you to attack and suspicion, better off to just leave the game before a hit. Yes, yeah, seriously, unless you can afford some bounty loss, time to defend yourself and the person saying easy after you get defeated. There's always the wiser way to just server hop if you see a lot of supreme people in the server and re-establish yourself in a more peaceful one. Also, if you really cannot leave because you've been hit or there isn't any safe zone, always master the art of running and styling. Basically, you keep on dodging attacks, maneuvering as far away as possible from the hunter, making unpredictable sorrow plays if the hunter is near, while not hitting the hunter at all. The lack of damage given to and received by players will wear off the end combat, when you no longer see the tux bounty at risk, either reset or leave the game. Grinding is essential and you want to do it quick and attain as adequate knowledge as possible. If you're tired of scrolling through my channel, which is a haven of tutorials, just click on the playlist on the screen. You'll find yourself in an easier position to maneuver from one tutorial to another. Do not forget to subscribe, thank you for watching and have a nice day.